Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a certified galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. I would like to share with you about an upcoming class I'm teaching on Pluto in Aquarius. It's called Illuminating Pluto in Aquarius. And it combines the insights and clarity and guidance of looking at this transit from an astrological and galactic perspective with the infinite healing and empowerment of Reiki energy so that we are able to come together in sacred circle and invite in the higher frequencies of Pluto in Aquarius for each individual in the circle as well as in the collective. This class is for you whether or not you have astrological knowledge and training and understanding it is beginner friendly, come as you are, and it's also appropriate if you do or do not have Reiki training and experience. There's no Reiki training required. There's no astrology training required. It is available and accessible to you if you feel called and guided to learn more about Pluto and Aquarius, what it means for you from an astrological and galactic perspective, and also from the perspective of your inner guidance. We will be discussing in depth what Pluto and Aquarius means from an astrological and galactic perspective and receiving all kinds of guidance and insights and inspirations and mysteries and questions and downloads and uploads and sideloads from looking at the astrology and the galactic of this transit and how it's working through so many magical ways. We'll look at key dates, things to be aware of, specific star energies that are going to be present and what those mean in terms of Pluto interacting with those star energies. And then the whole second part of the class will be Reiki time. So this is when it's about you receiving the healing and the empowerment that you need to welcome in and invite in the higher expressions of this transit for you in your everyday life, in your practicalities, in whatever life area that Pluto is really going to be activating and to receive your higher guidance about what this transit means for you from your own experience going within and inviting those insights and clarities and revelations to come into the light of your conscious awareness as the transit on. Folds. So everyone who registers for the class will receive a personalized worksheet with your astrological chart and showing which house in the astrology chart Pluto will be transiting through. I also will point out if you have certain planets or points that will be very activated in the transit and indicate what those are and then which life area this transit will be affecting the next 20 years, or it might be two houses and thus two overall life areas and give you some hints and clues about where you might be seeing this Plutonian energy manifest for you in your life. Why I'm motivated to do this is that really I've been drawn to astrology and was drawn very early on in my astrological studies to study Pluto. And now I know why, because <laughs> I'm going to have massive Pluto transits the next 20 plus years. <laughs> I have planets, a lot of planets and points in Leo. I have my son in Leo. I have my vertex in Leo, I have Mercury in Leo, I have my south node in Leo, I have Mars in Leo, and then I have something in early Virgo. So once Pluto moves into Pisces, I will also have a 
opposition there. So I will be dealing with the Plutonian energy in the opposition aspect as Pluto is moving through Aquarius. It will be opposing all of my Leo planets. I'm also part of Pluto and Scorpio generation. So at some point, Pluto will be squaring, making a 90 degree aspect to my natal Pluto. And so I was called to learn about Pluto. And the thing about learning about Pluto is there's some wonderful information out there. There are very empowering perspectives. And then there's also this energy where Pluto can feel really dense and really heavy and really even scary, you know, whereas Mars and Saturn can be like bad, you know, acute bad Mars, chronic bad Saturn. Pluto can also be seen as, you know, like a wrecking ball that comes in and, you know, wrecks your life or something. And I am really committed to cultivating a personal relationship with each of the planets, working with them in a very respectful, shamanic way and listening and being in dialogue with them. And so knowing this about myself, with Pluto entering Aquarius the next 20 years, this is energy I'm, I, I knew I signed up to be a part of. I, with this transit, really was like, how do I want to work with this transit? I want to embrace and open up as much as possible to this Pluto and Aquarius energy, the empowerment that's possible, the transformation, transmutation, metamorphosis. Again, this power, this Plutonian power, deep unconscious soul and spirit power that is available and accessible through Pluto. I already feel the Pluto in my field. It's changing my my magnetism <laughs> quite a lot, changing the, the electromagnetism. And it's not that the planet Pluto is doing this to me. Pluto and astrology, any astrology is reflecting our own inner processes. So it's like all these changes are taking place here that I'm able to perceive within my own energy field, within my own life. And that's also reflected by the astrology. So you can kind of get into an objective, a more objective understanding of where you're at and what's going on. And so one of the things with Pluto is, yeah, it can be experienced like this big change and cataclysm and, oh my gosh, big loss or big death or these kinds of topics. The more we resist Pluto, the more the cataclysm has to happen so that it shakes us out of our unconsciousness and we will wake up aka the path of trauma right so bad things have to happen so that you will be woken up to more of the true nature of reality and your power and why you're here and these kinds of things versus coming into a pluto transit being very open and embracing of the energy and being in a divine guidance loop with the energy what am I being asked to let go of? What am I being asked to transform? What am I being asked to transmute? And what changes are connecting with me for my highest good, for my highest empowerment? This is the path of grace. This is the path of elective transformation where there doesn't have to be the trauma and the cataclysm can be a more graceful, harmonious, beautiful unfoldment of magic and miracles and blessings and synchronicities and higher expressions. So my intention with illuminating Pluto in Aquarius is bringing in these higher expression manifestations of this transits and really bringing in the healing, the empowerment, and the guidance that you need at this time in your soul journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please go to taylornorrisreiki.com slash events and you will see the link below. You can learn more there. The class will be held 
live on Zoom and it will be recorded. So if that time does not work for you, you will receive the recording within 24 to 48 hours. I will get that back to you as quickly as I can so that you can listen, you can watch, you can enjoy. And the way that Reiki energy works is it's not bound by time, by space, by you know, physically being there at all. It's a quantum multidimensional energy. So you will be held in the circle, even if you are not able to attend live and you will receive all the benefits. So even if the time doesn't work for you, if you feel called to be a part of the class, please definitely be a part of the class. I am so grateful to have you in this circle of cosmic consciousness and soul family reuniting again with this mission of really co-creating heaven on earth, perceiving heaven on earth within, projecting and co-creating heaven on earth without. Thank you so much for being here, for listening, and I'm so excited to connect with you more soul to soul, spirit to spirit. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.